Hi, I'm Jim Berthel from OLI Systems. Today we're just going to go through a quick tutorial on how to use the OLI engine in Aspen Hisis. For today's example, I'm using Aspen Hisis version 8.8, .8, but the same steps work basically from Aspen 8.4 all the way through Aspen Hisis 10. So we're just going to head and go ahead and create a new case. The steps here are all from Aspen Plus. OLI recommends that you start with a fluid package. And we're just going to go ahead and add a fluid package. You need to add the OLI electrolyte package. It's important to note that at this point, the OLI electrolyte package appears in all versions of Aspen Hisis, regardless of whether you have a license to OLI or not. A separate license for OLI is required, and you can contact info at OLISystems.com or sales at OLISystems.com for more information. Uh, of course, we're OLI Systems, we have a license, so we're going to go ahead and create a chemistry model. What I do personally is to click the View button, and then I have a choice. We could add pure components, which doesn't work with OLI. Uh, we could add the OLI aqueous components or MSC components. Hypotheticals do work with OLI, or hypothetical solids, which do not. So the only two choice, three choices we have here are, are the aqueous model, MSC model, and hypotheticals. Right now, we're going to pick the aqueous model. We recommend that you always start with water, okay, and you go ahead and type in water, it finds it. We're just going to go ahead and click Add. This is standard Hysis uh, steps. I'm going to add some sodium chloride. We're going to add it as well. And just to give us a vapor phase, a little bit of CO2. Okay. You can add all of these components or any of these components. Uh, as required. You can also add additional databases which come from both OLI and from other users, uh, but that's beyond the scope of this tutorial. Click the X button. We're done with the components. There are occasionally error messages. This message is from HiSys. It's a stray error message and OLI generally ignores that. Additional error messages may occur in this window. We also ignore them. To let us know if it worked, we click the initialize electrolytes button. If it worked, this button becomes active. If I click it, you can see that it populated the trace window with species from the OLI uh, chemistry generator. I could also turn on a second organic liquid phase if I want, and I can tune the model to include or exclude specific solids uh, as required. That's also beyond the scope of this tutorial. I'm now ready to create a simulation. So we'll click the simulation button. Aspen and ISIS is very easy to use, uh, so we're not going to go through how to use this. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and create a stream. Okay, we're going to have it at 25 degrees. I'm going to give it uh, essentially gauge pressure, which is atmospheric. Okay. And I'm going to give it a, uh, a flow rate, which is going to be defined through composition. I'll click the composition tab. I think in mass units, so I'm going to have mass flows. So I'm going to start off with 100 kilograms per hour. I'm going to give myself one kilogram of carbon of sodium chloride and 0.01 kilograms per hour of CO2. When I click the OK button, the solver will attempt to solve. It did so. And now I can look at some of the properties. Clicking on electrolytes, we can see that the pH of the stream is 4.4 osmotic pressure is returned, and so forth. The actual composition is reported here. Okay, this is the concentrations here. If there were any solids, I don't believe so, they would be reported here. I could also see any mass bases. There's no solids here, so we don't see them. Uh, that's basically it. Now, it's important to note that these uh, species do not appear in any of the standard HISIS reports. Uh, just to force a solid phase here, I'm going to change the composition of the sodium chloride and go up to 10 kilograms. We're just going to run, it runs very quickly. Go back to electrolytes. If I go into composition and then solid, oh, I still don't have any. I'd probably have to pump up the value of the uh, sodium chloride to a much higher value than I've got here. But that's the basic idea. Okay, oh, here's a scaling tendencies here. This tells you a ratio of how much of the ions in solution to the solid are possible. You can see that we are super undersaturated 
with all these values. That's basically all there is to uh, getting started. These are all the blocks that are currently supported uh, in the OLI framework uh, when using this. You notice that some blocks are not available. These are not supported uh, with the OLI fluid package, so you cannot use them. If you have any questions, uh, contact us at oli.support at olisystems.com, and uh, we'll try to answer your question. Thank you.